Hello friends, today we want to talk, why is it possible to do bad things in the world? Why is it possible to suffer suffering in the world? Why would there be evil in the world? Why? The whole world is full of evil, killing animals even though they want to live, killing them for meat, eggs, preventing animals from bringing life into the world. They take trees, cut them down for toilet paper, for carpentry, corrupting the whole world. The Creator created the world, we corrupt His world, corrupt nature, why does the Creator allow to do the opposite of His will? So first of all why is there suffering in the world? So that you understand that what you are doing is something bad. If you do something bad, then you have to suffer for it, so that you know you did something bad. You take sugar and break it down, from a whole assembly, cook it, and break down the substance and turn it into sugar. You have destroyed a substance now in cooking, so that you know it is bad, so if you eat it it will make holes in your teeth, you have corrupted a substance, it corrupts you back. It gives you holes in your teeth and pain, why? So you know you did something wrong. Okay, so now the question arises, why is it possible to do evil in the first place? Why is there suffering? I understand, to know where I am wrong on the way. But why allow it to be wrong in the first place? Why is it possible to do bad? It still seems to you that you gain something from it. I break down the sugar, I destroyed a substance but it tastes good in my mouth. So as if for something else, some kind of pleasure, I might be ready to corrupt. In order to enjoy the taste of meat, he is ready to kill. He receives as if any pleasure, and then he receives along with the pleasure, he also receives diseases, environmental damage, or all kinds of negative side effects. So the question is, why? Why is it possible to do bad things and still feel that you are getting some kind of pleasure even though it has negative side effects? The answer is that when man discovered the Creator, he noticed that the Creator was constantly giving to him in the beginning in heaven, everything was good, people would eat fruits, and they would give animals fruits, and he noticed that the Creator was constantly giving to him, and he wanted to reach a state where he would also give to the Creator back to. He doesn't want to get free bread, what will he get for free all the time? I want to give back, whoever gives me good I want to repay him. But as for the Creator, what can you give back to him? Can you give something back to the Creator? That's why the Creator said to the man, Okay do you want to pay me back? No problem, we'll let you do bad. He allowed him to do all kinds of new actions. He created for him the possibility of murder, created for him the possibility of corrupting, destroying, burning, damaging, and then he said to him, You see, you have a good path, and a bad path, if you choose to follow the good path from today, and not to sin and not to go against my will, you will give me satisfaction and contentment, so what do you give back to the Creator? You return pleasure to the Creator, as soon as you live according to the will of the Creator out of choice, you give Him pleasure, you see that there are two ways, both of which I could enjoy, the second of which I could also suffer along the way, while the first is perfect pleasure, but it's not because of the perfect pleasure that I want this way. The perfect pleasure only directs me that this is a path you are interested in. And I want to live as you wish, to give you satisfaction. I have the option of going against your wish, going to a dentist, who will pierce my mouth, and make fillings, and all these things. And I have a natural way of living to let the body heal, at the age of 100 teeth grow again. So there is a way to live naturally to live according to the will of the Creator. I can do the opposite, and feel that I even receive some kind of pleasure, and I say no. I don't want to go against the will of the Creator. I want to live according to the will of the Creator. The Creator is what is important to me. I'm telling you, there was a time when I said I don't eat sugar. I don't eat sugar because it's not healthy. It makes holes in the teeth. And even then I had falls here and there. I would eat sugar. But as soon as I said I don't eat sugar because I want to live according to the Creator's will, and if the Creator determined that it is harmful, that means He doesn't want me to eat it. Corrupting this substance will corrupt me back. This thought gave me mental strength not to fall into this thing anymore, because I want to live according to the Creator's will, this is enormous mental strength. I want to live according to the Creator's will, I'm not ready to fall for it, very simple. So as soon as you know that you can give the Creator pleasure, I can live according to the Creator's will, it gives you satisfaction. Besides, you also get a wider worldview. Instead of being like a robot who only acts out of impulse and circumstances, you begin to act from a broader perspective. Suddenly there is a creator, 
I want to consider him and live according to his will. There is a broader worldview. You give satisfaction to a higher level of consciousness that can dwell in you now. You enjoy something broader, an additional consciousness. You give satisfaction to the soul. When I want to live according to the creator's will it gives me satisfaction. I'm not saying I don't eat sugar, because it makes holes in the teeth. No, it's too preliminary. As soon as you say I don't eat sugar, it makes holes in the teeth. Okay, but it's a sign that God doesn't want it. It gives you satisfaction. I live according to the will of the Creator. What filled me was that I realized that I can live according to the Creator's will. If there was no possibility to do the opposite of the Creator's will, then I had no option to choose. I had no choice. I had nothing to give back to the Creator. But as soon as I have the option to choose, and I say, Creator, I love you. I want to live according to your will. It gives the Creator pleasure, so to speak, and it gives me greater satisfaction. This answer satisfied me so much. A situation has arisen where we can return pleasure to the Creator, which is simply amazing. We can satisfy the Creator, give Him pleasure. Wow! Amazing! Don't forget to give a like. In our temporary channel, we deal with all sorts of interesting areas. We will present here instructive natural phenomena, and we will talk here about a worldview that gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. So if you are interested in this type of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of any new video that comes up. And see you next time. Writing and Editing, Yohei Anan Elhiyani. Original Language, Hebrew. Translation, Google's Translation. Narration, Microsoft Azure, Tony and Cora. There is no copyright on this content and any beneficial use can be made of it in whole or in part. I was the voice of Michelle.